Assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you doing good and welcome to another video in this video i will show you a full review of the latest havoc os 3.3 its build date is 1st april 2020 its security patch is 5 march 2020 and uh, so without any further ado let's get started So the ROM is pretty stable and uh, everything is just working fine. There is no any single bug or issue overall performance and gaming performance of this ROM is also good. Uh, and here we also have a lot of shortcuts in the quick settings. In the home screen we have this pixel launcher with some minimum settings. Then we have widgets and styles and wallpapers. In the styles we have four, st four type of styles pre-installed. You can create your own by clicking on the custom button and in the click we have cloak we have some cloaks like default samsung type analog bubble binary and in the wallpaper we only have this simple wallpaper you can also install amazing live wallpapers from my previous videos and the app opening speed of this rom is also good as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly and in the camera we have simple camera you can install any camera mode from the link in the description even the gcam 3.7 or uh, if you like the old gcam then you can also get it from the link in the description as you can see here here we have a simple camera and i have installed gcam 5 and gcam 7 so you can install it from the link in the description now let's dig into the settings in the settings first of all we have the settings and network and internet connected device safe configuration center here we have all available customization first of all we have the status bar from here you can manage the cloak you can manage the custom logo you can change its style to apple beads or anything you want then we have gestures and uh, network indicators battery style battery percentage and the status bar icons and some icon settings then we have the quick settings and lock screen here we have double tap to sleep media cover art mu music visualizer and some other settings then we have the ambient display here we also have the always on display which is working fine and double tap double tap to check is also working in this room as you can see here this is a really cool feature of this room after it we have the buttons from here you can manage the navigation uh, bar settings and you can manage the power button and volume rocker buttons and here we also have the back gesture settings then we have the gestures here we have jump to camera system navigation preview rigging swipe three fingers to screenshot and touch screen gesture then we have the notification here we also have the edge lightning which is working fine as you can see here and then we have some other settings then we have the battery saving and the screen animation and misc in the misc we have the gaming mode which is the advanced gaming mode and uh, some other settings screenshot setting then we have the battery the battery performance of this rom is also good as you can see here uh, here we have battery saver adaptive battery and smart charging then we have the display in the display we have brightness level adaptive brightness night light dark theme styles and wallpapers and in the phone size we have a lot of phone sizes and in the display size we have five types of display sizes then we have the double tap to wake is working then we have sound the sound quality of this room is also good in the security the fingerprint of this room is working fine as you can see here it is unlocking the device quickly in the system we have languages and input date and time backup reset options multiple users and in the about phone you could check your android version which is 10 have OS version 3.3 .3. build date is 1st april 2020 you can install any custom kernel in this rom so this rom is recommended for daily usage and uh, so if you want to install this rom on your redmi 5 just download the rom from the link in the description reboot your device into an installed custom recovery 
and uh, also download the flame g apps go to wipe wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card now go to install and flash the downloaded drone plus g apps reboot you will be in this room so hope you like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe